Hey, what's up, Margaret? This is Carl with Fiddler Shop, and I'm here with three pretty awesome fiddles for you. Uh, I'm going to try them out for you, talk a little bit about each one, um, and then, you know, kind of let, let you make up your mind on which is going to be the best for you. Um, I do kind of have a favorite of the three. It's the first one that I'm about to play. It's the Canone. It sounds really good. All three instruments are really good. Let me first say that. And for the price point, um, they're incredible sounding instruments, all of them. All of them have really nice balanced uh, tones. All of them are exquisite to look at. And all of them uh, are on the uh, darker side of sound, which is to me ideal, with really big projection as well. So those are important qualities in a fiddle. Um, I'll let you take a look at the first one. This is gonna be the Canone model. Beautiful antiquing on this. And of course, beautiful flamed maple back. Sounds incredible. I'll start with a very slow scale, then we'll uh, pick up the speed a little bit, let you hear it for yourself. Tones, beautiful, beautiful sound. joy to listen to under the ear as well which makes practicing of course that much easier uh, so this is the first one the canone it sounds incredible um, my favorite of the three but of course up to you to decide which one let me get number two and I am back with number two of three this is gonna be the Chrysler again another very full sounding instrument um, really good projection as you can see on the front beautiful antiquing as well on this model and exquisite maple back. Uh, let's start with a slow scale. As you can hear, absolutely exquisite song, um, tone. And I actually just played this again, and this is right up there with number one as my favorite now that I've played this again. It's got an exquisite sound under the ear. It's got a really nice, full, dark violin sound, which is what you want um, from an instrument. Uh, the bigger the tone, the darker the tone, the more you're gonna wanna practice. That's my theory in things, and, and I've been at this for a while, so this is just an awesome instrument as well. You would be really well served with either of these instruments, including number three, which I'm about to get. And I'm back with number three, the Bench Strad. sound but it's not as full as the other two I think um, but you know you can make up your mind on that one uh, it's it's not quite as much projection it doesn't sound quite as good at least under the ear so <laughs>
and another beautiful instrument, really nice antiquing and awesome flamed maple back. So I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. If you were asking my opinion, I would choose number one or number two. Both of them are right about, right about the same uh, in terms of sound and production. Um, but certainly up to you and any of these fiddles would, would make a great addition. So I hope you enjoy your new violin and Carl saying goodbye. Bye, 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 b